said that this is not going to be like another Iraq war. But make no mistake, he is deepening our military involvement in Iraq and possibly inside Syria for the first time. I can announce that America will lead a broad coalition to roll back this terrorist threat. The president addresses the nation in prime time to explain his plan for taking on ISIS in Iraq and Syria. The speech comes 14 days after this. Before the horse, we don't have a strategy yet. Tonight, a different tone. Our objective is clear. We will degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL through a comprehensive and sustained counterterrorism strategy. The president is increasing airstrikes over Iraq. He's pledging more support for Iraqi troops on the ground and says U.S. special forces will work with so-called moderate groups on the ground in Syria. I will not hesitate to take action against ISIL in Syria as well as Iraq. This is a core principle of my presidency. If you threaten America, you will find no safe haven. The president says he's prepared to launch airstrikes over Syria if needed, but hasn't given the order yet. Orange County Republican Ed Royce chairs the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Do you think that airstrikes in Syria are a good idea? Well, the reason you'll ultimately have to do the airstrikes in Syria is because the training of these young fighters is being done at their base camps there right over the border from Iraq. For years, the president has resisted calls to get more involved in Syria. We have uh, no uh, cohesive army to work with. Uh, we have kind of a tag band of rebels. Who Democrat Adam Schiff of Burbank says fighting ISIS in Syria could take years. There's been talk that there will be training of some of the moderate forces in Syria. And the question is, who are those moderate forces? Can you trust them? Well, it's a very good question. I have to say I've been skeptical about this uh, for quite some time uh, because a lot of those moderate uh, rebels, so-called moderates, aren't the least bit moderate. Uh, they don't fight together well. Often they fight each other, and sometimes they fight alongside of al-Nusra, the official al-Qaeda franchise uh, in Syria. The president now wants Congress to vote on approving his strategy. I believe we are strongest as a nation when the president and Congress work together. I think it will pass overwhelmingly because, frankly, uh, the, given the threats that have been made against the U.S. homeland and against our European allies, uh, this organization is going to have to be taken down. There's some debate about whether a vote will occur before the midterm elections. President Obama says that he has the authority to act even if Congress doesn't vote. Reporting live from the Satellite Center tonight, Alex Michelson, ABC7. Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you. Firestorm from the Ray Rice domestic violence case continues to grow.